Stay to the end of the video for news of a cheeky little giveaway. Hi, it's me Alex. I'm out at Wyoming Brook Nature Reserve near Sheffield. Join me as I wander around looking for some nice woodland scenes and some waterfalls. Straight off the bat, straight from the car park, I found this little waterfall scene, which I've got some video of, and a little bit of colour there in the middle, which I've already got a shot of. I'm hoping to be able to buy a new camera over the next few weeks and I don't know which one to get. I don't know whether to stick with the Panasonic Lumix range and get a G9 or to go for the Canon 6D Mark II which is quite compact and light and it's full frame because the purists in landscape photography um, seem to say that you can't be a landscape photographer unless you've got a full frame camera. And I don't know, I think I've done alright so far with the Micro Four Thirds images. I like them anyway. Uh, obviously I'd really like to buy Canon EOS R, but just for that and the lens it's about three grand. Whereas for the 6D Mark II I can buy the body and a 24-105 lens for about £1,600-£1,700, which is a mark saving when I'm not full time and I'm not professional. What do you think? Full frame, ACS or Micro Four Thirds? Lovely sound of the stream in the background. I've got it set up with the waterfall going diagonally through the screen. I hope it looks good. It looks creamy. Um, I'm not one to put filters on. I tend to just bracket my shots. Uh, why put another bit of glass in front of an expensive piece of glass? Because surely all it does is distort it. I'm sure there's many landscape photography purists who would disagree with that and wouldn't leave home unless they've got their pack of leaf filters. From what I've read, Wyoming Brook was originally just the haunt of the rich for hunting and hawking. The overprivileged, as usual, got to see the best sights. But now it's open to the public, the car parking's free, unlike Dolby Forest, and it's a lovely little place to wander around. During the week, I tweeted Paul G. Johnson and asked him, in the Peak District where would you go for some forest photography and straight away he tweeted back and said Wyoming Brook without a doubt and Paul I'm really glad I tweeted you and I came here because the place is beautiful thank you very much wow just look at the leaves on that tree picking up the sun that is lovely and through the ferns at the side wow Now quite often in forest photography you're looking for contrast between light and dark and that certainly seems to be going on there with that orange bush, that bright autumnal orange reddy bush, it's lovely. No not the flask, the flask is gone, no I haven't even had my coffee yet. Bye bye flasky. I loved you. That flask has been with me for years, but it's fairly treacherous to get down there and get it.
Anyway, despite losing my flask, I've still had a cracking morning here. We're a beautiful little place to come to. Wyoming Brook Nature Reserve. I'm going to be doing a cheap little giveaway in the next video so join me on my next adventure to learn about that giveaway.